Welcome sa sip9.com. Sa previous video ay pinag-aral natin yung uh, fundamental graphing principle, no? Uh, sabi natin sa fundamental graphing principle, pag yung uh, coordinates ng isang uh, point ay nasasatisfy niya yung equation ng graph, then um, that point is on the graph. On the other hand, pag hindi niya naman nasasatisfy, then that point is not on the graph. Well, uh, speaking of points on the graph, dito sa sa video na to pag-aral natin yung mga importanting points no, sa graph. No? For example, ano ba yung graph natin from the previous video? Ito yung graph natin ng x squared minus 4. No? So, uh, y equals x squared minus 4. So, yan yung sa previous video natin. At pakikita natin, may mga points na very crucial. Ano yung mga points na yan? Una, yung saan ba siya nag-cross sa x-axis saka pangalawa saan ba siya nag-cross sa y-axis this is this is one or these are some of the very important points no? pagdating nyo sa calculus ah, napaka-importante yung points na yan at kaya dapat maintindihan nyo ngayon ah, yung mga ibig sabihin yan no? Now, ang tawag natin sa sa points no? ang tawag natin sa points na points or point depende yan ah, minsan madami minsan isa uh, that's on the points on the graph that's also on the x-axis ibig sabihin yung intersection nila ay tawag natin dyan is x-intercept no? so so suppose a graph is given suppose a graph is given Now, one, a point on the graph, which is also, which is also on the x-axis, is called the x-intercept the x-intercept of the graph so example nito ano yung example natin? ang graph ng ano yun? y equals uh, x squared minus 4 nakita nyo naman yung graph ang kanyang, ang kanyang uh, x-intercept ay ano yun negative 2, 0 tsaka 2, 0 yun yung, coordinate ng, yung coordinates ng points no? so ang x-intercept niya ay negative 2, 0 Tsaka 2, 0. So, yung dalawang yan. Tapos, pag sinabi naman natin y-intercept, no? Well, so almost the same. Kaso sa y naman siya nagkakross, no? So, so, a point on the graph which is also on the y-axis, on the y-axis, is called the, the y-intercept of the graph. No? I think this is very intuitive naman. So dito, ang y-intercept ng graph ay 0, negative 4. 0, y-intercept. 0, negative 4. Okay, so... Kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, pag sinabi natin x-intercept, palaging 0 yan. No? 0 yung kanyang uh, y. Pag sinabi mo namang y-intercept, 0 ang kanyang x. Okay, so kaya ang ginagawa natin, pag ginukuha natin yung x-intercept, ini-equate natin yung y sa 0. Kasi ano ang value ng x if y is equal to 0? Pag y-intercept naman, equate 
dx to 0. Kasi ano naman yung value ng y at x is equal to 0. No? So, given So, given an equation involving x and y Given an equation involving x and y x intercept have the form x 0 no so to solve for x set y to 0 in the equation and then solve for x no and then solve for x So, yun yung kanyang uh, uh, x-intercept. Sa kabila naman, pag y-intercept naman, y-intercept have the form 0y. So, to get it, you have to set x set x equals 0 in the equation tapos solve for y no? for y no? so just one example no? ay akit natin to wala na tayong space kopyahin nyo na lang and then tas natin to we have, for example, we have the equation um, 2x plus 3y equals 5 or equals um, 12 kunwari. So, paano makukunin yung x-intercept? x-intercept? Sabi niya, set y to 0 in the equation and solve for x. So, Set y to 0, 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 12. And then solve for x. So 2x plus 0. Oh, wala na yan. So 0 na siya. Equals 12. And then x is equal to 6. Meaning, yung x-intercept natin ay... Six zero. Pag kukunin mo naman yung y-intercept, you set x to 0. So, 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. So, this is already 0. 3y is equal to 12. y is equal to 4. So, yung y-intercept natin, maybe I'll put this one. Maybe I'll just uh, delete that. So, y equals 4. So, ang kanyang uh, y-intercept ay 0y, which is 0, 4. So, kung titignan natin, um, pwede natin i-graph yan. No? Can uh, probably delete this. So, 2x plus 3y. So, saan ang kanyang x-intercept? 6, 0. This is uh, 6, 0. Tama? The x-intercept and the y-intercept, we have 0, 4. Tama?
Ah, uh, wag din pansin itong mga points at this is from the these are from the previous uh, lesson. No? So 0 4 and 6 0. Yan yung mga intercepts natin which is consistent with our uh, result here. Results. Okay, so marami salamat. I hope meron kang natunan sa video na to. In the next video ay uh, pag-aralan natin kung uh, paano pa mag-solve ng uh, x-intercept at y-intercept. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.